Welcome Valley friends, today we're on a mission to catch every fish in Dreamlight Valley. So come join me as we go on our fishing expedition. Once you've put on your perfect fishing outfit, we'll start with the first fish on our list, the anglerfish. They can be caught in the forgotten lands by fishing up the gold bubbles. These fish sell for a whopping 1,500 gold and they're a great source of energy, giving you 2,000. There is also a festive anglerfish, which can be caught between the 18th and 31st of December from red and green bubbles. Next up we have base, these can be found in the peaceful meadows, the forest of valor, the sunlit plateau, and the frosted heights, by fishing white bubbles. They can also sometimes be caught outside the bubbles and they have a festive version just like the anglerfish. Then the next fish on our list is the bream, these can be caught in the peaceful meadows by fishing in the blue bubbles. Now that we've caught our bream we can go in search of our next fish, which is the carp. These can be caught from blue bubbles in the forest of valor or the sunlit plateau. Then we can go in search of the rarest fish from the peaceful meadows, which is the catfish. These can be found by fishing the gold spots and each one sells for 550 gold. Next up we have the cod, these can be found in white bubbles in the forgotten lands, the glade of trust, or on dazzle beach. Like base, these can also often be caught outside the bubbles. Next on our list is the crab, these can be caught in the frosted heights by fishing in the blue bubbles. They are a bit rarer so they sell for 600 coins each. Next up is probably the hardest fish to catch. Fugu can be caught on Dazzle Beach from gold spots. But they only appear when there is a thunderstorm. Even if you use a fishing potion they will not spawn without a thunderstorm. Fugu also have a festive version available. Then we have the here and their fish. These can be caught from any biome by fishing outside the bubbles. They only spawn between 6 a.m. and 10 a.m. in the morning, or 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. in the evening. Next up we'll need to catch a herring, these can be found on Dazzle Beach or the Glade of Trust by fishing the white bubbles. I like keeping plenty of these as I like using the Arendellian pickled herring recipe. Next we have the kingfish. These can only be found on Dazzle Beach by fishing the blue bubbles. I think they also appear in white bubbles from time to time because I got mine from fishing a white spot. These can also only be caught at night between 6 p.m. and 5 a.m. Then we'll need to head over to the Forgotten Lands to catch the lancet fish. These can be found by fishing up the blue bubbles in this biome. Next we're heading to the Glade of Trust where we'll be fishing for lobsters. These can be found in the gold bubbles. You'll want to catch plenty of these as they are the crocodile's favorite meal. Next we'll be tracking down a perch. These can be found in the forest of valor or the sunlit plateau by fishing in the white bubbles. Then we'll be looking out for the pike. This is the rarest fish in the forest of valor and they can be caught from gold bubbles. This is probably one of the ones I struggled most with. Now we'll be fishing up a rainbow trout. These can be found in the peaceful meadows or the forest of valor by fishing in the white bubbles. I found plenty of these whilst looking for rarer fish, they only sell for 50 coins though so not really worth it. Next is another pretty common fish, the salmon. 
These can be caught in the frosted heights and the sunlit plateau, from fishing in white and blue bubbles. They are worth a bit more than the rainbow trout though, salmon sells for 150 coins each. Next on our list is not a fish, but something you can catch in the valley, seaweed. These can be caught in all biomes by fishing outside the bubbles. They are used for crafting fiber and as an ingredient in some food recipes. They are also the turtle companion's favorite food. For the next catch of the day, we'll need to head over to Dazzle Beach where we will fish the blue bubbles in search of shrimp. Now we'll be heading back to the Forgotten Lands in search of soul. These fish can be caught from the white or blue bubbles. They have a nice sell price of 200 coins each. Next up we'll be looking for some squid. These can be caught by fishing the blue or white bubbles in the Glade of Trust or Forgotten Lands. These sell for 500 coins each and are great to add into your recipes because they give you 1000 energy. Next we're heading over to Dazzle Beach to find ourselves a swordfish. They can be caught by fishing the gold bubbles. It might be a bit harder to get them in the evening or during a thunderstorm because you're more likely to catch fugu or kingfish. Next on our list of fish to catch is the tilapia, these can be found in the sunlit plateau or the frosted heights by fishing the blue bubbles. We've almost reached the end of our list, next up we have tuna. These can be found in the glade of trust or forgotten lands. You will need to fish the white or blue bubbles to get these. Next we have the rarest fish in the sunlit plateau, the walleye. These can be caught by fishing the gold bubbles. They sell for 1100 coins each and give you 1700 energy if you're planning on using them in your meals. And our final fish for today is the white sturgeon. These can be found in the frosted heights by fishing the gold bubbles. These can be hard to come by and you will want to stock up on them because they are the fox's favorite food. Besides these fish, we do have the special festive fish as mentioned earlier. There are 5 festive fish to catch in total and these are only available between the 18th and 31st of December. You can only catch one of each and once you eat it or gift it to someone you will not be able to get another one. Here is the list of the 5 festive fish you can catch. First the festive anglerfish from the Forgotten Lands. Next the festive bass from the Peaceful Meadows. Then we have the festive fugu from Dazzle Beach. We also have the festive salmon from the Sunlit Plateau. And lastly the festive squid from the Glade of Trust. All of these can be caught by fishing the special red and green bubbles that appear in your valley. If you want to keep these safe I do suggest not placing them in your storage but rather on the floor or a table in your home. Now let's talk about fishing potions. There are two options available to craft first the miracle fishing bait and then the even more miraculous fishing bait. The smaller potion will turn 10 white bubbles into gold bubbles. These potions do not have any effect on blue bubbles. The bigger potion will turn 25 white bubbles gold. These are great to use when you're trying to catch rare fish like the white sturgeons. And that's everything you'll need to know about catching fish in your valley. Please leave us a like if you found this video useful and don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. I hope to see you next time as we continue our Disney adventures.